Okay, so it's all together. The battery goes around inside, so that goes up inside. There's the pump in there. The pump sends it up from this tube all the way up. And on that side it gets distributed. Yeah, so it's set up that I'll be able to do the other two columns again as well. From here, goes up and into the holes and it runs down. Which you probably can't really see very well right now. Maybe once there's some nutrient you'll be able to see the water running. So if you can see it coming out. There you go, you can see it coming out now. It's also got a second valve or an extra valve that comes across the top. It runs back down, which is an overflow, and that's got my little tap on it. And by adjusting the tap, if I open it, you hear more flow through in here, but you'll see the flow reduces heavily from this area, so that's slowed right down. But then when I check this one, you should see an increase in flow through here, so it'll just come gushing through. So my little tap here, turn it back down again, and you'll see, the flow suddenly reduces. So, now I've got it working, just got to check for any leaks again. I did have it running yesterday, but it had leaks. And some leaks here, and I just popped some silicon on it. And I also had a leak over this side just by one of those parts, so i just put a little bit of silicon around those as well. I'm be putting the baskets in these little holes here. And at the moment I'm just going to leave this running probably for about, well hopefully it should last about at least 30 hours before the battery dies. It's been running a little, for a little while already. And if it can run for at least over 24 hours without any hassles, I'll plant the baskets. And I've got some little seedlings going already, and yeah, hopefully we'll be good to go. I'll be a home hydro grower.